Hey guys, so I'm super excited because I finally got my Bath and Body Works haul. So I actually have the box right here. So I am actually going to be unboxing this with you guys. And then I'm going to sit back down with you guys and give you guys my first impressions on these. So there's a lot of fall and Halloween in here. And there's a lot of things that I have never used before. And this definitely is my first true impression of these products if you do enjoy these kind of videos i would definitely love to have you take a moment and hit that subscribe button if you have not already because i do hauls i do a lot of different videos to do with fragrance body care hygiene stuff like that so definitely subscribe if you're into that and we are just gonna go ahead and get right into this haul all right guys so all i've done is take the tape off or I've cut through the tape and then I'm just opening it now. So let's see what we have. So these are all fragrance mist and it is from that sale where they were $5.95. So I hope you guys all caught that sale as well. And we are just going to go ahead and see what we got in here. Okay, so I got quite a few things actually this time. I was hoping to use my 20% off coupon, but unfortunately I couldn't do that because they actually made you use a code online. So that was unfortunate since I live so far away from the stores. It's very difficult for me to get into the actual stores and, you know, test these products out or use my coupons up like that. So, um... Yeah, I was kind of bummed that I couldn't use my 20% off coupon on this, but it is what it is. And $5.99 or $5.95, I think it was, was a lot better deal than full price on these. These range from probably like $17.95 to $18.95 or so. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and see what we got in here. So I'll pull out each one and show you guys. Okay, so first up we have Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. And this one, I actually have the lotion for this from last year, but I skipped out on the fragrance mist last year. So we'll see about this one. All right, next up... Okay, so next up we have Ghoul Friend. And that's super pretty. So, so yeah, it looks super pretty with this kind of glittery kind of image on the front. But I've never had Ghoul Friend before. So this is it's the first time I've had Ghoul Friend. Okay, so don't mind my dog. She's like over here, but I don't know if you guys can see her or not, but she's over there. Okay, so next up we have, this one is Wicked Vanilla Woods. So that kind of has that same like shimmer on the outside, that image and everything. But I have never tried Wicked Vanilla Woods, even though it's been out before. So I'm super excited to actually try this one out. And then next up, we have the Honeycomb Perfume Mist. I am really excited about this one, actually. I've heard a lot of good things about Coco Shea Honey, and I never tried this before. So I'm very excited to try this one out. I do like the wellness lines that have been coming out lately. And then since I got that one, I had to get the milk one as well. So this is the Milk Perfume Mist. I'm really excited to try this one too. I don't really know what exactly to expect from this being a milk scent. I don't know if it's going to be very like tonic or what, but we'll see. And 
And then this one here is the Candy Apple Cauldron. And this was a new scent this year. So I believe this one has not been out ever before. It's so green. That green juice, hopefully it doesn't stain. Some of these juices in here can kind of stain your shirts if you have white shirts or it can like put it on there when you're trying to wear it. So definitely be careful of that. I'm going to have to keep that in mind on some of these. And then the last one, which lost the cap, it looks like. Okay, so this one is the new one out. So this is the new vanilla. This is Vanilla Romance. I'm super excited to try this one, but it kind of seems like it might not be a kind of vanilla I like, but I've been liking more stuff lately and different kinds of scents. So I have my hopes up for this one. Definitely excited to try this one out. And that is it. So that's all I had in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and sit down in front of the camera and give you my first impressions. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, guys. So I am back. So I am going to smell these and give you guys some first impressions. I'm super excited to smell these because I think I've never smelled any of these actually, except for the closest one is the marshmallow pumpkin latte. So I do have the lotion from last year in this one. But actually, I have never smelled the actual fragrance mist spray. I didn't order it because last year, I don't know, I just got like a weird kind of smell from the lotion. There was a note in it that I was kind of iffy on. So I didn't like it the best. So I skipped out on the mist. But this year, I thought I had to give it a chance because I have been liking fragrances that I haven't been liking as much like in the past. So I definitely wanted to give it a chance. And I had never tried it in fragrance mist form either. So definitely wanted to give this a chance. And the packaging is super cute. I love how that they have the little coffee cup here. So it makes you really think of like a pumpkin latte type scent. I don't think there's actual coffee in this scent. I'm not sure, I guess. But I do like the design on this one. I was debating about getting the sweet cinnamon pumpkin one, but I only got one pumpkin scent this time. I had the sweet cinnamon pumpkin in sanitizer form at one point. So I am familiar with that scent. Okay, so the fragrance notes on this one are pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallows, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. So super excited to try this one. I'm hoping that the marshmallow comes through a little bit more in this than like in the lotion last year because I was just picking up kind of a strange note. But yeah, I do like how all these little pumpkins are on here. This is really making me feel like in the fall mood right now because right now it's pretty dreary outside where I am. So it doesn't feel like summer at all, even though it technically is summer still. It really feels more like fall where I am right now. Okay, I'm super excited to smell this. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry for a minute though because I don't want to get just a blast of alcohol or anything like that. I've been waiting for this order for so long, it felt like. Like I did the $5.95 sale and then I've been waiting and waiting and it finally came. So I'm super happy. And I also have my Victoria's Secret orders. I have one of them and I'm getting the other today. So I'm going to have some more hauls for you guys as well. Okay, so this does still kind of have that scent that, that I was saying that I wasn't liking that much, which I don't know which scent note that actually is. But it does smell better than the lotion, I'd have to say, from last year anyways, because that lotion from last year really had this prominent note in it that was just very overwhelming. And this one, it actually does smell like it's even out a little bit more. So I don't know if it's just a spray or that's how the lotion is or what. But this is tamed down a little bit where it's not too obnoxious. Like I think I'll actually be able to wear this one. So that's good because I definitely want to be able to wear the fragrance mist that I do get. 
But yeah, this is kind of a light pumpkin smell for sure. I'm really not getting any coffee notes at all in here. It's just kind of a light fluffy pumpkin and it does have a little spice in here as well. So it's kind of just like a pumpkin spice with a marshmallow to me. And yeah, that note actually is not nearly as much in this fragrance mist this year than whatever was in that lotion last year. It just was really potent. But this is actually pretty nice because it's all kind of blending together. It's not too overpowering or anything like that. Maybe it was the sandalwood in the one last year that was a little bit too much in the lotion form. Because, yeah, this is smelling a lot more wearable to me than last year's version in the lotion. So I think this will be okay. I'm going to try this one out and then toward fall, I'm sure I will get a lot more use out of this one. But yeah, it's like a nice fluffy pumpkin type scent with sp some spice in it. And it's super cute. I do like the packaging on this one. Um, as far as lotions to go with these scents that I picked up, I'm really not going to be picking up any lotions unless the scent like blows me away. So like on this one, I'm not going to be picking up the lotion and like on anything that I just don't truly love, I'm not going to be picking up the lotions for because I just have a lot of lotions in my collections and I want to try out more lotions um, just in general. Okay, so next up, let's try out this Vanilla Romance. So I've been hearing a lot about this one, but it kind of sounds like a vanilla that might be a little bit questionable for me because vanillas are usually something that I really like, but if it's really spicy or something really takes over that vanilla, Sometimes it goes in a direction where I dislike it. So I'm really curious about this one to see if I'm going to like this one or not. And I'm actually not really familiar with one of the notes in here. So the fragrance notes in Vanilla Romance are Fresh Cardamom, Vanilla Absolute, and Captivating Woods. So Fresh Cardamom, I'm really not sure about that note. I don't really know how cardamom smells. I'm not familiar with that. So that's going to be a new fragrance note for me to try out. So as far as the packaging goes, it's pretty simplistic. I mean, it looks somewhat like chic because it is so simplistic. It's kind of like minimalistic, but um, nothing really that fancy about this. But I'm super excited to try this one out. Okay. So I'm going to let that dry for a minute. Okay, so this is, this is like totally different than I expected. <laughs> so just off of like first smell, I know it's not exactly like this at all, but the first smell kind of was reminiscent of Viva Vanilla. So it's kind of like a different kind of vanilla, more of a drier kind of maybe spicier vanilla. Maybe that's where that cardamom is coming in. And there's a wood note in here. So I think it's a little bit more like toned down. So it's a little bit toned down more so than Viva Vanilla but it kind of gives me those same vibes. I'm going to definitely have to try this one out and really see what it's like because offhand, just like off first impressions, I'm not sure. But Viva Vanilla, I really wasn't sure about Viva Vanilla either. Like Viva Vanilla was kind of not something that I was liking at all to begin with. And I just recently started liking that one. But this is kind of giving me those same vibes as Viva Vanilla. So if you like that one, you probably would like this one. You might want to give it a try. But it's different, but it's got like, it smells very, very reminiscent of that one. 
but I think it's a little bit softer than Viva Vanilla. It's just toned down more, so it's like a softer scent. And it's not quite as like dry and spicy, but it really is kind of the same type of vanilla in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think of Vanilla Romance. I would definitely love to know what your thoughts on it are in the comments because I don't know. I'm having like a hard time with this one. I'm going to have to wear this one and let you guys know how I feel about it after I wear it. So definitely make sure you subscribe if you have not already because on Fragrance Friday, I will let you guys know how these worked out for me. But yeah, this is definitely a little bit different than I was thinking, although I kind of knew that it was going to be a different kind of vanilla that I might not gravitate toward. So I'll have to give this one some time. And sometimes scents like this tend to grow on me more than other scents. So we'll have to see about this one. But just off first impressions, it's definitely not my favorite. It's just a different kind of vanilla that's not gourmand at all. Um, of course, you know, I love gourmand scents. I do like some perfumey scents and woody scents and things like that as well. But this one just isn't really knocking me out of the park right away. Like it's okay, but it's not my favorite or anything yet. Although, you know, like I said, sometimes these scents do grow on me. Like I used to absolutely hate sweet whiskey and then I really started liking it. So I know a scent can definitely change over time. Um, and just your sense of smell can change. So we'll see how this one performs. And I'll let you guys know on Friday after I actually wear it for a full day. Okay, so now let's try out some of the Halloween scents. So I do have another vanilla with this one, but I think I'm going to try out this one first. So first we're going to try Ghoul Friend. I am actually really excited about this one. I think this is one that I'm actually going to like. So the fragrance notes on here are dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. So it sounds kind of like a fruity floral. And I skipped out on vampire blood because I have vampire blood in full size from last year. I actually have the body cream and the fragrance mist from last year. And I do love vampire blood. That one's really good. But I'm definitely excited to try this one out. So it looks like the... Um, the front like has a little skeleton woman on it and then it has like these jewels that are kind of like sparkling so it's not my favorite packaging but it's okay again so the juice is colored on this one so you might have to be careful about wearing like a white shirt when you wear this one they do have kind of the leveled up cap on this ghoul friend Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try this one out. Okay. All right, so this is definitely like a fruity floral. It's kind of reminding me of something. I don't know. It's just like a really nice fruity floral. You definitely get the strawberry but it is kind of like a darker berry so it's not a like fresh strawberry but i think that's what i'm getting the most it's a strawberry in this and then what do we have peony and citrus so yeah i'm definitely getting the strawberry the most in this and the peony is adding just a little bit of floral and the citrus is kind of just making it a little tiny bit brighter maybe but most of all, I do get that strawberry in here and it is kind of like a darker strawberry. So it's not like a really artificial strawberry or anything like that. It's kind of more of like a nighttime strawberry in my opinion. But I think this smells really good. So I had a feeling I was going to like this one and I think I do like this one. Again, I will wear it like on my body and see how it performs and everything like that and let you guys know. But so far, first impressions, I think this is my favorite so far. So yeah, definitely my favorite so far. 
And let's go to the next one. So let's try out this other vanilla one. Okay, so this is Wicked Vanilla Woods. I've never tried this one ever, even though this has been out before in different packaging. I've never actually tried this one. The notes actually sound like something I wouldn't like as much again, like a vanilla that I am not super into, but I definitely wanted to give it a chance. So again, we have the packaging looks like a snake on here and then like some jewels and stuff. So this is actually an online exclusive. So I don't think you're going to be seeing this one in stores. Um, it's available online only this year. Okay, so the fragrance notes on here are Magical Vanilla, Glowing Amberwood, and Enchanted Pink Pepper. So that pepper note makes me think I'm not going to like this because I'm not huge into spicy vanillas, but I wanted to give it a chance. I wanted to smell it. I don't get into the store, so I can't just like smell it there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give this one a chance here. And again, they have kind of the leveled up caps on these ones. Okay. So this is totally different than what I was thinking it would be. Why is everything like different? It seems like than what I'm expecting. This one, I actually think I like this better than Vanilla Romance. It does have like a little pepper note in there, but, but I'm getting more vanilla from this one, I feel like. Like even though there is a pepper note in there, I feel like it's not quite as spicy. Like you get more of a true vanilla coming out of this one. And then like a hint of that pepper. But this is actually pretty good. Yeah, I'm actually liking this one a lot. But again, you know, it, that could change too. Like if I wear it on my whole body and I can't stand it, then, you know, that could completely change my opinion. So definitely stay tuned for Fragrance Friday. But this is smelling good. Now I kind of want to smell the um, Vanilla Romance again. Okay, so I want to smell this one. Yeah, this one's like a lot more spicy. So this is more of the type of vanilla I'm not as much into. So this Wicked Vanilla Woods, I stayed away from this one because I thought it'd be too spicy, kind of more like the Vanilla Romance, but, but this actually is more vanilla to me. So yeah, I definitely get more vanilla in this Wicked Vanilla Woods than in Vanilla Romance. Let me know your thoughts on these fragrances though. Comment below because I love reading what you guys think about these too. Um, I know probably our opinions differ, but definitely let me know because I would love to know your thoughts on these too. But yeah, so far, just by first impressions, I think I like the Wicked Vanilla Woods better than Vanilla Romance. Okay, so now we have another Halloween one. This is Candy Apple Cauldron. So I'm expecting this to be super sweet and um, have that apple in it, which can go back and forth for me. I usually love apple scents. So we'll see how this smells. So on this one, let's see, what do they have? They have an eye and like a hand holding something that might be an apple it's kind of hard to tell but it's got that same like shimmer kind of graphic on it as well and the juice is green on this one so the fragrance notes on here are mysterious green apple simmering sugar and crystallized bergamot and it does have the same cap like the other ones it's just this kind of leveled up cap okay so I'm going to let that dry for a minute. Okay, so <laughs> this is different than what I expected to. So I expected this to be like a really strong apple scent, but I'm getting kind of a toned down apple scent and I'm actually really liking this. 
So yeah, it's like a toned down apple. I expected this to be like a sour in your face green apple for some reason. I think just based on like the green coloring and apple in here. Um, they do have simmering sugar and bergamot in here though. So maybe the sugar is taking that tartness out. And the bergamot might be adding like a little bit of brightness. But this is a really nice scent. I actually really like this one. It's definitely not like too overpowering, like too much apple right in your face or anything like that. It's definitely kind of like a leveled down apple scent, which I like actually. This is nice because it's not like super fruity, like a little kid's fragrance or something. Like that's kind of what I expected was like a really fruity in your face apple scent. And this is definitely not that. It's more of a laid back soft apple scent and you do get that nice sweetness and it, there's almost like a freshness in here as well. And I think that's coming from that bergamot. Okay. So I really like this one. Um, this one's really nice. I think this one actually might be one of my favorites out of all this stuff. So, so far I really like both of these. These are both really good. I do like the wicked vanilla woods too, but it does have that pepper note in it. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see about that one. And I'll let you guys know how it goes for me. And now I'm just left with these honey comb perfume mist and also the milk perfume mist. So let's try the honey comb one first. And this says fragranced with notes of sweet shea and golden honey for a warm, addictive scent. So I go back and forth about honey. Honey can be really good and I can also kind of dislike honey. So we'll see what this smells like. So if these do smell good, these wellness ones, I think I do want to get like the body butters or the oils to these. Okay, so, so these perfumists are actually kind of a new thing. I have one in the coconut, the Coco Shea coconut one, um, but that's the only other perfume spray that I have like this. Okay, so this smells a little different than I was thinking. So there's definitely a heavy alcohol note in here at first, which is the same for the coconut perfume mist. So all the perfume mists maybe have a little bit more alcohol in them because at first you do get a strong kind of scent of alcohol, but then when it dries down, like on the coconut one, when it dries down, it's not even there. Like you can't get an alcohol smell. So I'm thinking this just has to dry down, but it's like a sweet, a sweet scent. I don't know if it's straight honey. Like this is not really what I imagine straight honey smelling like, but I mean, there is a sweetness to this and it does smell good. I think these perfumists are actually really good to layer with because they're kind of like basic scents. And so you can layer them with other scents to make them better. But yeah, this is kind of a really light sweetness to this one. I'm definitely going to have to try this one out and let you guys know how it goes because this is definitely different. Now that it's drying down, I'm almost getting more of like a perfuminess with it. So I don't know about this one. So I'll have to really try this one out, but I think this one would be good layered with other things. I don't know about alone because it does smell pretty light. It's kind of just like a faint sweetness. So this one might be best layered, but we'll have to see how it goes. Okay. So let's try the last one, the milk one. So here's the milk perfume mist. I do like how these look. They're like pretty basic, but take note that they are a bit smaller than a regular mist. So the regular mist is actually eight florid ounces. And one of these is only six. So you get two less ounces with this one. 
So the back of the milk one says, fragrance with notes of sugared oats and whipped milk for a creamy, cozy scent. That sounds so nice. I love cozy scents. And I do usually like like tonic scents. Okay, so this is, this is, this is interesting. Okay, so this is really interesting. It's like, it's kind of creamy. You kind of do get those oats in there a little bit. Yeah, you do kind of get like those oats. And then like a really creamy scent. I don't know how lactonic this is. This isn't super lactonic, even though it's a milk scent. It's a little bit though. Like there's a little bit of lactonic and then creaminess and then like the oats. This is actually really interesting. I actually really like this one. Yeah, I think that I like this one more than the honey so far, but we'll see because once I start layering them or something, then we'll see. I wonder if these ones would be good layered together, like the milk and honey. That might be good. Might have to try that combo because that might be really good. I kind of want to like smell both of them now. I don't know, guys. Let me know how you use these. Do you layer them or do you use them alone? Let me know what you guys think of these wellness mists, especially if you got the honeycomb one and the milk. Let me know what you think of them. I think I definitely like the milk one a little bit better. So that is it, guys. That is all the products. So those were my first impressions, but definitely stay tuned for Fragrance Friday because I will wear these on my entire body like for a whole day and then let you guys know how it worked out, you know, the longevity and my true thoughts about these fragrances. So definitely subscribe if you have not already because I will do that on Fragrance Friday. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. And I love you guys so much. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next video.